Hey everybody, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. For anyone who resonates with the zodiac sign of Aries, this is going to be for February 10 to 20, 2021. I'm using the Brian Froud's Fairies Oracle. And don't forget to check us out daily for the live interactive tarot time, tribe time. It's a ton of fun. Okay, so, guys, angels, anyone from the highest good? Guides, angels, anyone from the highest good with a message to come forward in for Aries, please. Starting out with the gloomy doom. You know, things just aren't the way that I thought they would be. The way that I envisioned them. I mean, this is my existence. I mean, look at his little hand, right? He's like, really? This is what I have to work with, honestly. And I, like I always say about the gloomy doom is that according to him, life really is gloomy because he is underwater. Everything is skewed. Oh, my hand is dark. He's, I don't know, not really feeling it. Aha. Until we find a new doorway. It does feel like a new doorway or like something has been illuminated or I feel like if I had ears, they would be perking up right now. <laughs> okay. It's exciting, whatever it is, but it shows itself right there loud and clear for everyone to see. And by everyone, I mean this one, the gloomy doom. What is this? She, of the crew it's well that's the it's nurturing right and it might be that the gloomy doom feels like this because he has not been nurtured properly doesn't have to be a he this could be a she this person has not been nurtured properly they have been to had their kindness mistaken for weakness. They have been, it does feel like having advantage taken of, it does feel like, I just wanna punch the air because everyone around me is so stupid. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't mean it like that, but I do, right? I'm the gloomy doom. But then, alas, behold, cometh forward the gate the new option, a whole new world. And what is on the other side of the gate is the she. It's like the most nurturing person in the world. This person th lives to make other people purr. It makes them feel good. <laughs> I wanna be like, excellent. They like it a lot. And she is beautiful she's probably full figured okay she probably has a nice butt she probably has a lot of tattoos or a tattoo right longish hair she's just but her life is really really full and she's not looking at this one that might also be what is a little bit intriguing like because everybody looks at this one and then he's like well <laughs> what do you mean you're not gonna look at me and then it all of a sudden be that might be the that might be the spark the thing that comes in because I don't even know because it doesn't matter who the Aries is here there's a feminine here who is minding her own business all right probably interacting with this one already because they are in the vicinity, right? They're in the same reading together. This isn't a fictional character. And she's just vibing. She's vibey, right? And I don't, it doesn't even feel like a rejection. It feels like a, hi, how you doing? Nice to see you too. And then they keep walking. And then this one's like, Uh, 
I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I'm a little bit perplexed myself. And it just, you know, causes you to swirl down farther into the gloomy doom place. But at the same time, it's the new challenge. The next phase. Well, here we have this ball and chain. The ball and chain is never a good sign. It's somebody who's unhappy, and it does feel like this too. It also feels like there really is no light at the end of the tunnel because I want to say for maybe between 7 and 11 years, this has been going on. It could be months, but it feels like a long time, long enough to make someone live in the permanent gloomy doom place. I also heard laughter. It feels like this one is funny. They might just, they're funny or they're, I don't know, loud, I guess. You, you can hear them. And I feel like that's irritating too, because why is it that you're making me hear you, but you won't pay attention to me? That's maddening, right? What's happening is they're falling in love except the gloomy doom is interpreting this falling in love place as <laughs> sheer madness man <laughs> but it's giving them it's the compass it's like suddenly they're they're obsessed with getting near you with this one they they want to be real close to them they might like how they smell okay but they, um, it's the compass now, the fox. So, except in pure gloomy doom nature, <laughs> we're not gonna go through this gate, directly through the gate. We're gonna kinda slink around and maybe find the easiest way in, right? And that's probably because of this. They are trapped. The gloomy doom is stuck either with someone or near something or in one way or another. The gate's not as easy to get through as one would think, right? But it's, it does feel like, it does feel like a fiery obsession. It does. It feels like all of a sudden I can't, and see? <laughs> oh my God, that's exactly what I just said. Aries, okay. The emperor, masculine figure here. Yes, the sun, divine masculine, and also the firefly. There's someone very exceptional. They, all of a sudden, they lit up a life that was all gray. Something had been going on on repeat for so long that it just felt like that, oh my God, it's the whip. It was maybe even abusive. It was, in one way or another, one person in the relationship where this gloomy doom was in was not fucking nice. And they could have been like that to each other, right? But now we have this yes moment that turns into it's like an obsession. They and then so they they might start texting a lot. Just all of a sudden, like, what are you doing? How's your day? What do you think about this? What do you think about that? It could be a Libra involved. And I'm saying that because it is the Libra card, but I also want to talk about this Libra card in conjunction with the Fox. And what I mean by that is Libras are dip diplomatic. They think things through. They, you know, they get after it, right? But this one here, they, it needs to be, it can't, this is not a willy-nilly situation. One cannot simply fling themselves over the gate. It has to be dealt with better than that. 
but I think that they want to marry this person. Like they, uh, it's also it might happen on the new moon, which I'm pretty sure is on the 11th, 10th or 11th. And but they also. They're spe this one is special. She's special. It's it's just they just want to get to know them really, really, really bad all of a sudden. So and they do. So let's go to the extended and see. I want to look forward and see what kind of actions that they actually take and what the reaction of this feminine is here. And then depending on that, where it goes after this, because it does look like this masculine has had enough of whatever situation that he's been in and they he goes he does it okay so let's go and have a look see and um don't forget to check us out every day during the week for a daily live tarot we talk about it we learn about it we really get some good insights thank you so much for your continued likes shares and subscribes and everything else that you need to know is in the box below and the extended is going to be at my website dharmajane.com so until next time have a good one